In this tutorial, we'll be going over how you can curve text using Procreate for the iPad. Now, unfortunately, there's no feature built in that allows you to take a text object and place it along a path, as is the case with other applications. So we're going to have to rasterize the text and then use the warping feature manually. Let me show you what I, what I mean here. I'm going to tap on the Actions menu. I'm going to tap on Add Text. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to write Curve Your Text. Let me make the bounding box a little bigger. Let me triple tap this text to select it. Choose a new font over here. I'm going to use a heavier weight font like this, and I'll make that size a little bigger. There we go, now we're looking pretty good. Let me grab the selection tool now. Now what I want to do is I want to change this from a text object to a raster object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap on the Layers menu, tap on the text over here, and go to Rasterize. And once I've done that, I'm going to grab the selection tool. Make sure you have snapping enabled over here. You want snapping enabled. And I'm going to take this object and just place it in the middle of the canvas like that. And you'll know it's in the middle when you see those orange guides populating vertically and horizontally like that. And now, in order to curve this text, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to the Warp feature, under the Selection tool, that is. And what I'm looking for over here is where it says Advanced Mesh. With Advanced Mesh enabled, you're going to have all of these little nodes or anchor points that you can edit that allow you to take your text and make it fit whatever contour you'd like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this edge up here, and I'm going to make this edge rise upward like that. I'm going to make this side over here dip down like this. I'll take these ones, bring them up like that. And I'll take these ones and bring them down like that. And as I'm sure you can imagine, you could really let your imagination uh, run wild with this. You could take these nodes and fit them around any shape you'd like, really. It may take a little bit of work, but it can be done. Let me just adjust these a little more. And I think this is looking pretty good right here. This is what I was going for in terms of uh, ter uh, curved text. If you make any errors along the way and you want to undo what you just did, you could just tap with two fingers like that and it'll undo it. And once you're finished, you could just let go of the selection like that. And there you go. I think that should do it for this lesson. That is how you, how you can go about very easily curving your text using Procreate for the iPad. As always, thanks for watching.